and welcome along to Northern Farms. The carrots are ready to harvest in field five and the Voltra and Merlot are ready to go. Can I get them lifted more efficiently? Let's get farming. So I'm gonna to start today actually with the Massey. We had everything last time scanned and inspected uh, just to make sure that things are all working. Our uh, Massey still very much is uh, in need of repairs. So we'll bring it over to the end here. And uh, we've got nine damage to it. Uh, it looks like it would take maybe two days. Yeah, in fact, two the following morning. But it's going to cost 4540 uh, I don't want to spend this money right now, but the fact that it's only going to take 24 hours to get this repaired or until uh, sort of middle of the next day to get this repaired is really good news for us. Uh, we just need to get a little bit more money in. If we spend all the money that we have today for that to get that repaired, we'll have nothing to be able to actually get these carrots here on field five harvested so what i want to do is uh actually get the carrots harvested first uh, and then we will look at getting the massey fixed to our other two pieces of equipment this tractor uh, is fully repaired and all raring to go uh, there are no issues with this at all which is great uh, we do need to refuel it first. As you can see, that there's not a lot, a lot of fuel in this. So we'll stop this here and get some more fuel in. I thought when uh, this was raring to go, uh, it was absolutely raring to go and fueled up. I forgot that I needed to put some fuel in it. Um, but that's good news. We caught that and we're not going to suddenly run out of fuel halfway through doing these carrots. Start her up again and reverse it up. Now, the Merlot hasn't actually had any repairs done. It doesn't have a lot of damage to it, though, thankfully. So we should be all right with that. And so I am going to get headlands out on here first. And once we've got those done, what we'll be able to do is uh, set a hired worker going, I'm hoping, and get this field done uh with that with basically whenever it runs out of space in a box we'll get it to do the uh we'll, we'll unload the box and everything and uh, and get a new one so first things first we want to buy a box get that on the back start this up drop it down oh make sure we got the right bit of kit right drop it down and away we go and we'll start by getting this top headland done. And once that is all uh, done and cleared, uh, we should be in a position where we can start getting the rest of this field harvested. But yeah, these awkward bits at the top, we want to get these out first. And in fact, wow, we have two thirds of a box yeah two thirds of a box just off this headland bit that's really good news before we continue on the farm this video is brought to you in partnership with the awesome people at apex gaming pcs i've teamed up with apex gaming pcs to create a custom line of pcs suitable for everyone from beginner farmers to virtual farming experts and the highest spec machines are also perfect for streaming and content creation Apex Gaming PCs have dropped the prices on almost all their products by 30%. So there's never been a better time to go check them out. It's actually making pretty short work of this headland. We are three, I know we're on our second run through here. We're on our third box. And yeah, it's chomping right through it. We're basically going to do the same thing at the other end. We've got a small area down uh, this corner to do as well. Um, but I am intrigued as to whether we can get this working and, uh, and get it moving without it causing too many problems with having to drop boxes off on a regular uh, amount of time. If we can get 
uh, a pretty standard hired worker going with these headlands removed i think it might work and then we just need to go and pick up the boxes with the merlot behind it as it's going so uh it should work pretty well for us we're full again on another box and it's and it's about right for filling a box from one end to the other with this uh let's put this one next to that other one so pack this up turn it off because it's still trying to fill it there we are down and unload it and if we put the next box on we can immediately push that backwards like that get that out of the way without really causing much problem with the next one and then uh, start it up and get it down look at that four boxes already uh, into this and uh, the yield is really good actually further into the field uh, this little section here we've got some fairly horrible soil but it looks like we're getting 125% yield further into the field here and that is absolutely fantastic we're not far off finishing this headland now we just need to uh get yeah about one more row off here we're up to six boxes yeah we've got five down there one down here and uh we're actually halfway through the seventh box so lots of uh carrots off the end here in fact that really dark green mark on the yield map is so encouraging to have such a great yield off here i think we're gonna have a massive number of carrots this year very very happy with how this is going just a little bit of cleanup left to do in the middle section here and then that is this headland done and then we need to head down the uh, other side and get the headland at the other end done. That is going to be a much bigger headland and uh, we've got a lot less space to leave boxes. So we will, uh, we will have to uh, work with that a little bit more to get that to work. Uh, so I'm going to head down here. We're not going to harvest as we go down here. Uh, but we are going to harvest when we get to the corner here because we need to harvest this area out so let's uh let's clear this we need again we need space to turn around and uh space to get everything set up around here here is where it is that little bit more difficult we've got not a huge amount of space to move we're right up against the wall here uh but uh, we need the space for when we actually get a hired worker working on here. We're going to need them to be able to get into this corner. In fact, I don't think we can even harvest that little bit in the corner there. I don't think we can get the tractor in there for that. At the moment, I'm having to back up and come around to, to get stuff. And yeah, we are a little bit close to the hedge uh to the fence there but we, we're getting a healthy amount out of here again that dark green color is appearing uh we are getting a very good yield in this corner as well and i think we're gonna end up overall with just a really good yield on this field and uh a lot of carrots which is good news uh, what I do need to do, though, is uh, go and put all of these carrots into our uh, loading area because we need to get the money back that we've spent on the boxes so far. Uh, that way, we can make sure that we don't have any issues when it comes to running out of cash. Uh, we've only got 1,000... 390 available to us so uh yeah we need to make sure that we're not gonna have a cash problem let's drop this down drop this off 
we are costing 130 for every box but we do get that money back every time we unload a box so putting it into our store is really useful because we get that money back and we can plow that further into our field most of this corner's done the question now is can i get anywhere near picking this stuff up in the here and no we cannot pick uh, that bit up right in the corner that actually affirms something we uh we very much need a little bit more grass coming away from that edge there or even just a dot in the corner because uh, we are unable to get right in there for stuff. Down this end, though, we should be able to get uh, a lot of this harvested. And, yeah, looks like it's all grown this year, unlike the barley last year, where we just had those large patches along this edge that uh, that never grew and never got to be anything uh more than uh two-thirds of the way ready the yield down the bottom end of the field here is looking pretty good it's not quite as dark as uh the top end of the field was uh but there definitely seems to be a 100 to uh 120 uh, percent yield on here which is really really good we are on to our third box down this end of the field no in fact this is our fourth box down this end of the field that we've just filled uh which is very good news uh being able to get this much filled at this point is really cracking news actually when we run out of money, I think we'll transfer over to the Merlot. Uh, get that so that uh, we can empty some boxes, get a bit of money back and see where we are. If we really need to, we do have that entire trailer full of bales, uh, of straw bales that we'll be able to go and sell and, uh, and get ourselves back in the black. Uh, of course, the other thing we can do is we still have the ability to borrow some money. We've been very careful with how much money we actually borrow. So that uh, will be good. Bought another pallet. That means we can start up again and lower this down and get some more carrots harvested. Still plenty to go here. Really, really good yield. I think we might take a couple of days to get all these lifted. Something I'm going to have to be very careful of is not losing any of these boxes in the hedge. I've got four boxes along here. And uh, yeah, if I'm not careful, they're going to get hidden by bushes and, uh, and bits like that. So we want to make sure that we actually do pick up all of the boxes when we do. Uh, this headland is going impressively well, though. Nice dark green in all of our uh, harvesting at the moment. And uh, a good... Uh, I think that's, that might be eight box on this headland that we're working on at the moment. Absolutely fantastic. A lot of carrots coming off here. And uh, once we get these headlands finished, I think that's the point at which I'm going to load up these boxes today and uh, and get them all out of the way, which should work for us pretty well. Uh, it means that we'll end the day with a uh, nice set of carrots stored in our uh, in our uh, silo, and uh, then be able to. Uh, have enough money with any luck to buy boxes and get a hired worker going the next day i remember last year's carrot harvest starting off like this having a really good go on the headlands knocking things out really well and uh, and it looking like we were just absolutely sailing along and then it becoming a real sort of slog later on I don't think we're going to have that problem this year because 
we've got a big advantage this time that we didn't have last time. We've got time. Time on our hands. We are not racing against the clock to get all of this harvested uh, before it uh, before it all withers. Um, we've got a couple of months. I think we can harvest the carrots until the end of November. Obviously, I don't want to be doing it that long. Uh, there are things I would like to do on the farm before then. Uh, we need to uh, start getting our fields prepared for the spring seeding, of course, and, uh, and all of that. But uh, yeah, if we need it, the time is there. And, uh, and we should be able to uh, just keep plodding along at it and, and hacking away at this, getting these lifted and uh, eventually uh, be able to sell them for a nice big wad of cash like we did last year. And this year our selling should be more efficient as well. Uh, we should be able to get these sold with a lot less hassle. I think our biggest problem with trying to automate any part of the carrot harvest at the moment is that we always get to this point of the year without a huge amount of money. Uh, it's we're down. Well, we're we're at one thousand and eleven pound in the red. Uh, and that means we would be able to hire a worker at the moment. And part of that is because we have just had to buy so many boxes at the moment to keep ourselves going. Uh, we've got a lot of boxes down this end of the field. It's really, really good. Um, but at the same time, really, really expensive. Uh, if you think that 10 boxes is £1,300... Uh, that is what is causing us the biggest pain at the moment uh, is having to buy those on a regular basis down here we do almost have this end of the field done though uh, and with this headland complete uh, we will be able to start looking at the main body of the field uh, that is going to be what we do in the second day of september uh, right now, what I want to do is get all of these boxes picked up and loaded into our silo, into our carrot storage, and get the money back for these boxes, and then be able to uh, have some money left to deal with getting the main body of this field done next time. And we should be able to basically pick boxes up out of the field and then load them straight into our storage. I'm very tempted to borrow some money, grab ourselves a big transport trailer, park that underneath the uh, loading point and get that loaded up as well. And that way, as soon as these are ready to go, we will be able to get them sold and start the money rolling in. So, yeah, there's a lot of options that we uh, have to look at over the next couple of days, I think. This is the last of the carrots we've got. Well, the last of the carrots on this headland. Of course, not the last of the carrots on this field. I think we've got a little bit over here. Perfect. Uh, we'll be able to actually complete this box just with stuff from the end over here. Won't take very much. Uh, and the rows here are really short. So we want to be clearing into this bit of the field anyway. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go grab the telehandler. We'll get some of these boxes picked up and put into our storage. I uh, get the money back for the boxes and uh, that will be a really great start into this field i think and i think that's got it yep there we are turn that off back it up we'll put this box in with these over here and then park the tractor up and uh yeah go get the seller handler because it's time to start loading some of these up and seeing if we can get some money back with boxes now expect 10 boxes loaded into our silo should give us 
the money back for those 10 boxes and we'll put another box on the back of here because i think if i turn it on yeah we immediately have 11 percent kicking around in the harvester I put this up here and let's go get the merlot and start unloading some of the boxes that we've done the first box is right here very very close uh we'll see i think we I, I have a niggling feeling that we get actually paid quite a bit for returning these boxes we might actually get paid more than we pay for them uh, but it's just a case of, yeah, running back and forth. I right, close the gate. Get that open. Don't tend to uh, leave that, uh, to close that gate very often. Right, and then into here with this. And unload it. How much we get for the box? 230. So, yeah, we, uh, we actually get £100 more unloading these boxes and returning them uh, than uh, we paid for them that is uh, fantastic we're actually gonna make a thousand pounds off delivering 10 boxes one thing that does worry me is that we've got rain on the way it seems to be the bane of our carrot harvests on here uh, is that we just seem to keep getting hit by rain every year uh, when we're in the middle of our carrot harvest. Uh, we will see exactly what that is going to mean for us this year. Uh, I think that's going to be mainly overnight. Uh, and if it is, that's very good news. Because we will have uh, a very brief shower overnight. And things should be okay by the morning. Uh, but if we have a rainy day tomorrow, that is going to cause a lot of issues we really want to keep things rolling here and uh, at the moment things are going okay but as i said we had this situation last year we got the headlands out quickly it all went well and then we got hit by rain uh we had the time limit it was uh it got very hairy towards the end of the carrot harvest last year so we'll see how we do here but we are already back in the black uh, which is great news uh, we just need to go and grab all of the boxes from the far end of the field as well but at the moment this is uh, looking pretty good putting these in this storage is going to be uh, really useful for us to track exactly how much we have as well uh, it holds a hundred thousand liters of uh root crops this and as a result uh we'll be able to take about 50 boxes worth in here and uh, it's loaded up really nicely we're making very good progress on that uh just a few more boxes to go having to go the long way around though because of course I don't want to be driving over the crop or I want to be limiting how much I'm driving over the crop as much as possible and driving the uh, telehandler back and forth over it repeatedly is not doing that. We need to uh, make sure that we are responsible in the uh, amount of uh, travel we do over the crop itself. Final box for today get this off here i'm gonna leave the uh tractor and the harvester down this end actually i might get them back to the farm uh might be wise to uh to get them back down there but uh yeah we've done really well we've got all of the headland out uh we are nicely set up for the next day we're actually at three thousand and thirty nine pounds uh sorry three thousand and eighty nine pounds uh right now so uh looking good we're probably gonna start off the day i know in fact i don't think we'll start off the day in the red because we have a monthly cost for our leasing of equipment so we might actually be okay and uh, and be able to start off the next day with a decent amount of cash to try and get things going 
Uh, we'll drop this off here. Right, and then back it up. And that is that job done. Let's just have a look. We should be able to tell how much we have in here. Yeah, 40,000 40, litres of carrots. So uh, that is absolutely fantastic. 20 boxes off those headlands is awesome. And uh, that is an awesome place to finish this video. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye